What is going on YouTube? One only XRAM here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. Today, we have the 2023 Ducati V4 Multistrada Pikes Peak. It's so many words, but it's so awesome. We're gonna go for a ride, see how it is on different roads. It's gonna be some smooth, some rough, and then we're gonna go and talk to the owner of why Ducati, why Multistrada, and sort of his journey. All right, V4 Multistrada, Pikes Peak, Pikes Peak, Multistrada V4, however the fuck you wanna say it. Here it is. I really like this. The color of different reds and oranges almost, cause I hate all red Ducatis and this isn't an all red Ducati. It's awesome. This fine gentleman here is allowing me to ride his baby. We're gonna interview with him. We're gonna have to obviously zoom out cause he's like nine foot tall. But uh, yeah, let's go for a ride and see what she's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a blind spot marker. Watch, I'll slow down and it pops up. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. All right, we're in sport mode. The quick shifter, holy crap, is it smooth. Windscreen's nice, blocks the wind. All right, we're gonna give her some beans a little bit here. That was 90 like nothing, holy crap. <laughs> it's so again we're in sport mode it's a little more tame but just the turning is super quick holy crap <laughs> any bike that makes you giggle we roll in the throttle in the lowest mode <laughs> it's honestly the lowest mode but not the sportiest of modes really tells the story of how this beast is actually going to be Obviously good Brembo, so the brakes are solid. Would like a little bit more power initially, but definitely not bad. This feels almost like an inline four as far as the smoothness goes. It's really quite impressive. The V4 Gran Turismo motor, it's 1158 cc, I believe. All right, so while this isn't overly exciting, I kind of want to point something out because we're barely doing 25, maybe 30 miles an hour and even on the Street Fighter, it starts to lug and, and lull, and it really doesn't like this speed. I, for this being a race mode and going this slow, it's not bogging down. It's actually able to pick up the throttle and the power band really beautifully. So as far as, from what I'm seeing, usability, if you're going to go a slow speed, the Multi just kind of does it all, and the power band is quite fantastic. All right, so while we have a ridiculous wall in the action, I'm gonna change mode. You hold this button over here, it says mode. Pops up with what you want. Uh, I wanna go to touring because I set the front suspension to be a little soft, close the throttle, and you're in touring. That's how you change modes. So the reason I wanted to change modes here is because there's a part of the road we're gonna be coming up on that's definitely bumpy. We're in touring, okay, finally. Get a test the bumpiness of the touring mode. So I made the front again too soft. So a normal riding, it's it's just a bit too soft. But that the front stayed very planted. All right, race mode. We're going. Woo, more brakes. <laughs> be a little stupid right now so let's calm that down but the power delivery is just nuts the brakes honestly they don't quite bite as much as i'd like them to my first initial grab is not very strong like they're strong but they don't really they don't, they don't bite quite as hard as i would like them to so to me as fast as this bike really is I think the brakes need to be a little bit more aggressive than what they are. So one of my only knocks is the, how the brakes feel, you know. Aside from that, you know, if you're riding it normally, the brakes have a very strong 
feel uh, but if you're trying to push it, uh, it sort of leaves a little to be desired. I'll tell you what, the quick shifter on this is very freaking good. It's probably one of the smoothest Ducati quick shifters I've honestly ridden in a while. And, you know, I've, I've ridden the newer Panigales on the track and pushed it. But for like normal riding, this thing was fantastic. This quick shifter is super, super smooth. And that's an all throttle position. All right, so I'm going to do a quick test here. I'm neutral throttle. Normally in older Ducatis, you can't downshift. Downshift it. <laughs> like 1299s, the older V4s, if they really didn't like that, they wouldn't do them at all. And that is a huge improvement by Ducati to make all throttle positions be shiftable because BMW or Prilia, they do that no problem. There's a lot of wind hitting me. Uh, but it's not jarring. I uh, granted I'm used to the Street Fighter, so you know, what's a lot of wind? Let's get it back to the house, kind of talk over a few points here, and then uh, chat with the owner because he's come a long way. All right, just got back from our ride with the 2023 Ducati V4 Pikes Peak Multistrada, and uh, it's awesome. It's the most comfortable Ducati you can ride. Me personally, I, I love the way this feels. If you have a Diablo, it's a really comfortable bike too, but I find that that seat holds you too much. This allows you to move around. It's a couch. It's a really fast freaking couch. The torque is felt everywhere from 2000 on. I found that in like second, third, fourth gears, it just came alive and made it really easy to ride. Like I mentioned in my ride, it was very surprising to me. Most Ducatis, at least the ones that I'm used to riding, don't really like the low revs. I even went down to like 20 miles an hour and showed in second gear how much it didn't loll and it didn't buck. It, it was very smooth. And I likened it almost to an inline four. It doesn't matter what throttle position you're in. I even showed you in moderate throttle, I was able to downshift from fifth to fourth and it didn't bind, it didn't buck. It was super smooth. And I found that to be really impressive because it's on par with where the Aprilia's are at, which to me, it truly is the best quick shifter that's out there. This Pikes Peak is loaded with electronics. I was thinking about doing a deep dive into the dash, and I, I there's so many menus, so much to go through that that would be an hour long video by itself. So, out the window, I'm going to talk about a couple key things, a couple key little trinkets that this bike has. One, it has blind spot markers. I noticed that when my buddy was riding behind me, this little yellow on the mirror would pop up and catch my attention. I'm like, what is that? And I looked and I accelerated away, it went away. I slowed down, it works really well. And for a bike to have that's pretty impressive. To go with that is it has adaptive cruise control. Now, I didn't get to play with it where we were at, it was very twisty. For again, a bike to have adaptive cruise control, that's pretty epic, especially when you're going on long trips, which I mean, obviously, that's what this thing's for, is for traveling. And another cool point is really just the adjustability. Like I said, the menu is so insane, hugely in depth, tons of settings, suspension settings, whether it's just you as a rider, you as a rider with some luggage, you as a passenger, you as a passenger with luggage. So that's just one aspect. Then you can change it from harder, softer, even softer. It's like, I almost saw the setting said softer, which would have been funny, but Ducati is not that, they're not funny like that. They just do weird stuff with technology. But I'm just in awe of what this 2023 Multistrada has packed in to just this insane package. All right, so with any bike, I always talk about the brakes. This bike is, you know, nothing to get away from. Obviously it has Brembo's, they're strong. Uh, the thing that I don't like about them is the bite. The initial feel is, kind of lacking I, I want more power right away because this thing is very fast and to slow down from a higher set of speed i like it to be a bit stronger initially so you can bleed off because yes you can teach yourself to just grab a handful of brake to really slow it down but usually that's bad practice because grab a handful of brake bad things tend to happen although this thing has ridiculous abs and everything on it so Kind of play with it as you will, but to me, I'd like them to be a little stronger. And again, that initial bite to be there. 
All right, so while I get a step ladder so I can introduce <laughs> the owner, Mike, here. Um, How's it going? Like the MV, I really want to get the owner's perspective because a lot of people want to know, you know, why would you go from a CBR or a Yamaha to Ducati or why would you choose a certain brand? Because a lot of people start with one brand and try to stick with them, but you had a diff different story. Well, I met somebody named Chris and his wife, Jen, and oh, okay. they convinced me that Ducati was awesome. And he took me for a ride on a V4S on a nice October day in 2019, and I fell in love with the brand. Um, they're amazing. They are absolutely amazing bikes. They give you a feel that no other brand can do. Um, I've been a Honda guy my entire life. I started riding when I was four years old. So being exposed to Ducati, my dad was always like, yeah, those things, they break down. You don't want to buy them. They're too expensive. Well, Dad, you're not right anymore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> These things are way better. You went from uh, a Panigale, I mm -hmm. believe, uh, 2021. Yep. Uh, that, unfortunately, met its demise. But you have, have another 2022 Panigale. It's actually still 21. Is it 21? Yep, okay. yep. That bike is just unbelievable. It's so much fun. He's got me on the track uh, several times. It's been just the most incredible experience personally as a rider you know from somebody who started out in the little ct70s honda to this and the panigale it's uh it's just a world of difference most people were like well you're just blind to ducati or you're a fanboy or that i tell you what anyone that's ridden my stuff has had an experience he rode this thing and a freaking smile on my yeah, face right? like why would you be so comfortable yeah going so fast and then <laughs> being able to you know have your cruise control just to the car in front of you. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, your blind spot marker. Like, little things like that just make motorcycling fun. And Ducati just, to me, raises the bar to another level. The soul that you feel in this bike is a very heavily prideful Italian heritage that you see whenever they do their uh, Ducati week. You know, I, one day I really want to go there. I want to go to Magello. I want to see what it's like in that environment because it, like the entire country shuts down and it becomes all about this motorcycle brand. Yeah, Mike, <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks Dude. again it's for the yeah, ride. And uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed my little ride, the B-roll, and this little conversation kind of shows that uh, I'm just not talking out, you know, different holes. But with that, you all have a good one. I'm out.